Welcome, brothers and sisters. I want us to reflect on the book of Psalms, chapter 90, verse 12. Psalms 90, 12. It says, Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Teach us number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. This year, 2023, it's also our humble prayer that we shall gain a heart of wisdom. So that should be our prayer item today, that God will help us number our days. Allow me to say this. God has been there. He's the Alpha and the Omega. God is not being controlled by time. God has been there. He's internal. He's everlasting. God is the one who creates time. And time does not control God. But man is controlled by time. And in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, tell us there's time for everything. Time to be born and time to die. Allow me to say that as we are living in this year 2023, we need to ask God to help us number our days. So that we know the time to be in school, the time to marry, the time to be a parent, the time to be a grandparent, the time to invest, the time to harvest. Because God has set standards, and it is you and me who fail to understand seasons. You need to understand the seasons so that when it's a season of planting, you plant. If it's a season of harvesting, you go and harvest. You know, there's this thing that we always say. That when it's a time of harvesting, when an unbeliever goes to harvest, and a believer refuses to go and harvest, we know very well that the things that he planted, either the fruits will get spoiled in the shamba. The same, same way, when it's a time that is raining and people need to go and prepare their shambas, it is for both an unbeliever and an unbeliever to know that it's time for preparing the shamba so that they can go and prepare their shamba and they plant on time. If a believer don't follow the season, he remain in somewhere in the mountain praying, and the non-believer goes and prepare the shamba and plant. The non-believer will harvest, but the believer will not harvest. When I walk in my life, I have realized that sometimes some of my stagnation, it is not because of uh, something maybe spiritual, but it is because of me not mastering the season. I want to urge you to master the season. So that you pray and tell God that today as I pray, I want to number my days. You need to understand that you are a parent. You need to understand that you are a young man in school. You need to tell God, help me number the days of my life. And therefore the writer says, Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So if you don't number your days, you will gain a heart of foolishness. When you number your days, you gain the, 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 the heart of wisdom. And remember I've said, God is everlasting. Human being goes with season. Human being goes with time. Know your time. And you will be a wise person in this world. It is my humble prayer that let that be your prayer item today. That God, help me number the days of my life so that I can gain the heart of wisdom. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you for your word. Some of us, we are stagnant. Some of us, we have not achieved our best in this world because we have failed to number the days of our life. Teach us so that 
we will gain the heart of wisdom. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. May God give you the heart of wisdom as you number your days. Remember, there's time for everything. There's season for everything. Shalom, shalom.